Yeah, this came out of nowhere because normally NHL teams don't make deals till they get right to the beginning of free agency and right uh, to the end of June as the draft is occurring. But the LA Kings had a unique set of circumstances. I think they've done a good job re rebuilding and fixing the franchise. I think Rob Blake and Luke Robitaille are just really in sync as to how to make this a, a viable franchise. And it got to the playoffs this year and did very well. They pulled off a three-team, 10-player and pick trade. Wow. The Kings did it not so much to get new players in the front door. They did it to create salary cap space. They have monster cap problems with players' contracts coming up. They picked up $8.5 million in salary cap space hmm. uh, by dealing away Calvin Peterson, once promising goaltender, and then by dealing away Sean Walker, who was one of their starting defensemen. So they cleared $8.5 million because they have to re-sign a defenseman they got in a trade at the deadline, and they have to uh, go back into the marketplace and, and re-sign a couple of their younger guys whose contracts are coming up. So that's what they did. And they picked up a defenseman, Kevin Connaughton, who came from the Philadelphia Flyers, and a, a young forward, Hayden Houghton. Columbus gets Igor Provorov, huge defenseman, very high number one draft pick. He comes from the Flyers to the Blue Jackets in a trade. And Columbus had been strip mining their roster. He's a really good player, so he comes. And Philadelphia, which has new leadership, has just decided tear down, rebuild. Philadelphia gets a one, a two, a two. Plus, they get Cal Peterson from the Kings, and they get the defenseman Sean Walker. So, I mean, it, this deal impacted teams from a lot of different dimensions from the Kings standpoint. They get 8-5 cap space because they've got three young players, one of their defensemen they've just re-signed. They, they're starting to eat up that cap space now to lock down the guys, the kids that they really like. That makes a lot of sense when you have different teams with different objectives, salary cap, rebuild, maybe some team just needs a veteran to plug in on the, on the defensive line. This is a lot different than the LeBron for Kyrie where you're kind of trading – two big superstars. So this is, I love these deals. These like creative 10 player, three team deals. They're a lot of fun. And, and suddenly three franchises kind of feel like they hit the reset button to a degree. They did.